Hey everyone, in this episode we are going to build our first funnel inside the Entresoft. So you have, as you can see, I'm right now in my admin panel. You have a couple of options. So we have a template center in here that you can actually click on and you have tons of template in here that you can choose from and basically begin from one of these templates or what you can do you can start from scratch so in this uh, particular video i'm going to show you how you can build a funnel from scratch it's going to be a simple funnel but let's dig in so on the left hand side you want to go to your funnels and website and then you click on funnels once it loads you just click on new funnel you name it your awesome funnel and then click on create there we go the first thing that we want to do we want to add a new step so we click on add new step we're gonna uh, have like a two page funnel with a, uh, a landing or capture page and a thank you page so the first one is going to be uh, our landing don't worry about these two the path is going to be automatically set up so we just click on create funnel and the next one is going to be the thank you all right now let's go ahead and click on landing page and then we want to click on edit page. all right the page is loaded. the first thing that it asks you we want to drop in a section so let's go ahead and choose a full width section comes out now i would like to spend uh, a little bit of time uh, to move around uh, the user interface of this funnel builder if you have used a uh, click funnel this might look super similar to click funnel so basically every uh, element or everything that you want to build inside a funnel has three layers so we start with so we start with section which is green so first section and then inside the section you need to add a row so before adding any element you need to have a section and a row so go ahead and click on add a row now you have different types of uh, options so you can have a row with one column two column three column four column five or six let's go ahead and click on a two column so as you can see now we have two sections in here that we can drop element okay now uh, the settings for each element and each section is always on the left hand side so as you can see we are select we have selected the uh, the row with uh, a two column as you can see the row is blue and this is the options in here so you have your padding left and right top and bottom and then you have your margins top and bottom your alignment your shadow if you would like to have a background image and some other advanced object uh, options such as visibility and this is super advanced so basically if you want to customize with a typical uh, with your own css style we're not gonna discuss those because those are a little bit more advanced all right now let's go ahead what i want to do i want to basically add an image in here and then have my text in this section so let's go ahead and click on add an element what i would like to add is going to be an image so i click on image now it says put your image in here so i select the image as you can see now the color is orange so orange is for the element purple is for the column blue is for the row and the green is for the section so these are the colors that you need to kind of know what you do when you want to uh, play with this at uh, delete or edit so uh, make sure that you understand this all right let's click on put your image in here and again we want to go to the head to the setting section we want to update the image so we scroll down and in the image section we click on this and it brings up the images that we pro uh, previously actually provided to this let's say that uh, I want to put something like this image for example we click on that and we let it load there we go we got the image sitting there I would also to put uh, put a point that you can actually search 
So the images from uh, Pixabay are on splash.com. So the images that are in these two websites are for free. So you can search, for example, luxury, click on search. It brings up and let's say you want to basically choose this one. You first, uh, you can click on save. It is uploading it to your library and then you can go back to your library and when it's finished, you can go ahead and select this image and it's gonna get updated there. So there we go, now we have our image and now we want to put some text in here. So I want to start with a headline. And let's say in this headline, I want to say, learn, uh, learn the fastest way to become millionaire with this free ebook. So that would be my headline. Then I want to go ahead and add, for example, a sub headline and here say download the shortcut the millionaire shortcut actually download the millionaire shortcut ebook today don't worry about the padding we're gonna work on that later now let's say you want to add some bullet list and say okay uh, the first one is going to be uh, join uh, learn the steps learn the blueprint actually learn the blueprint of how to be successful online if I can type and then as soon as you hit enter it adds another blueprint and says uh, one on one coaching provider. So basically, I'm uh, putting the uh, elements that we have actually the, the offers and the elements that you can get from Entrez to just some of them as like a bullet point and uh, coaching is available. Uh, pretty much something like that. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Now let's work on a layout a little bit So I want to have some more space in here so I can go ahead and click on this Section make sure that the settings is selected and I'm gonna come into the left sidebar And I'm gonna play with the margin at the bottom. So I'm gonna push those guys down That's better. Now let's say I want to change the color of this guy. So I'm gonna select it and as you can see, the color is black. I want to make this blue. And then let's say I want to add more padding to the bottom of this one as well. There we go. And for this one, we can leave it as it is for now. It looks fine. If you don't like the padding, another option that you can do, you can actually add a paragraph or like a sub headline. But then you can say, okay, I want this sub headline to have an icon on the left so you can select an icon in here and let's type tick so it brings up the tick put it there you can change the icon color to be red and so basically this way you can have like multiple version of this and what you can do you can copy because in this way in this way you can actually what you can do you can play with the padding a little bit better and easier. So first of all, I don't want these to be center. I want to be left aligned. Same for this and same for this. And let's, the way that you delete, you hover and you click on the trash icon so it gets deleted. Now we have this, as you can see, I want to add a little bit more padding. So let's click on settings in here, scroll down. And for this margin on bottom, we want to put it 10. I want to do the same thing for this one margin at the bottom. We want to put it 10 and that one is fine. Looking nice and good. We can actually make this uh, bold. So as soon as I make it bold, you see, oops, why did it get dark? So 
The reason for that is we can have different color for different version of the, uh, the font. So as you can see, the bold text color is black for this one. Uh, let's go ahead and make that blue as well. All right, so far looks good to me. Now what I can do is I want to add a button actually down at the bottom in here. So what I can do, so you have two options. If you want a big button in here, we can actually add another row, one column, click on add element, and then drop your button in here. And then you can play with this button, or I would like to actually have it inside this section. So I'm just gonna go click on this plus, and then say, okay, I want to add this button. And now for the button, you have themes. I go ahead, click on themes on the left hand side, and let's choose a theme that we like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Then I'm going to go to general, and what I would like to do, I want to change the background color to be red, and I want to remove uh, the border. So let's see where we can remove the border. So if we go to the advanced, the border, we want to say no border. There we go, nice and clean. Now you want to change the text, so we go back to general, click on the button and we say, download your free ebook. That's the element name, and the text is going to be down at the bottom in here. There we go. Now I want to add a little bit of padding to the top. So I bring this guy down. Nice. We set it here. Another thing that you might want to think that you want to do is actually have the headline all the way to the top, which is not a bad idea. So this is how you actually uh, keep developing uh, on your design. Just uh, keep building and say, okay, I actually rather to have this at the top. So how you do that, it's basically, okay, you already have this row, so, and it's two columns, so in order to be at the center, you need to actually add a new row, one column, and then you need to add the headline. And then we just basically put that guy back in, in here. Now, what you want to do, you need to bring this guy up. How you do that, so you see these arrows comes, so I can push on this and it brings it up. There you go. Now what you can do, can have it lined up like this for example or actually let's make the size a little bit bigger there you go nice up there there we go looking good i actually like the design so far now the next part is okay what's going to happen when they click on this so when they click on this uh, what I would like to do, I would like to show them a pop-up so a pop-up comes up and then they need to fill up their information, the information that you need, uh, specifically their email to send the link to them to download the actual ebook. So first go ahead and make sure that you save this. Don't worry about the SEO stuff right now in here. Just go ahead and click on save. That's it. Save is done. Now we click on pop up and it brings up this. Now same thing. So we add a row, just one column. Then we click on add an element and we put a headline and type put your best email address below and then click on plus now we want to add a form the form is actually a contact form that we capture the information so we click on form this brings up we click on and it says okay select the form so you can either if it's your first time, you probably won't have any form in here, so you can literally go click on click here and build your form. It opens up a new tab, which is a form builder, all inside the Entresoft, and you build your form there. All right, we are in the form builder, click on create new. Here's our form. The first thing that you want to do, you want to name it properly. So on the right hand side, if you click on options, you have the form name, you name it properly, your awesome form then we go back to fields the first thing that i would like to add i would like to add a first name so i want to capture the first name and i would like to capture the email so i drag and drop the email 
and then at the end I want to have a button to tell the user to submit their information. All right. So a couple of things, for example, a styling that you might want to do. Let's first of all click on the button. We want to say something like get in download your ebook now. Then I want to let's say change the background color to be similar to the red color that we have there. Nice and sweet. Then I want to actually make it a full width. So that's that. I want to make it a little bit round. So let's say 20 or maybe 15. Sorry, uh, 15. Yep, that's nice and better. Now the other thing that I would like to do is to get rid of the first name and email in there. So as you can see, when I select it, it says field title. I don't want to have the field title. Same for the email. I don't want to have the field title for the email. Or the other thing that you can do instead of like going and deleting that, you can go to the style and say, I don't want to show the label. And then in order to make sure that this is required, you go into placeholder and put it like this. That's it. That's, that's pretty much all you need to do. Other than that, everything is automatically all set up and all good. Go ahead and down at the bottom, click on save form. And once the form is saved, we can actually go back to formula and click on select your form. And as you can see, it automatically populated there. There we go. The form gets populated and pretty much every time that you make any changes inside the form builder, this automatically gets updated. All right, we are done with our capture screen. Now make sure you go ahead and save that. And the next part is when we click on our form on the left sidebar, we want to say, okay, when the user click on download your ebook now, we want to send them to the next step, which is our thank you page. Go ahead and save. Okay, once it's saved, we want to go and build up our thank you page. So, once it's saved, we want to go and build up our thank you page. I'll actually do that inside the next episode so uh, in order to keep this one short and sweet all uh, once it's done we want to do the thank you page uh, to keep this video short and sweet and to the point I'll continue working on the thank you page in the next part so without further ado I'll see you in the next part also if you want to get access to all the information and all the videos in this series because there are a couple of them that are more advanced they are only for the memberships users make sure that you click on that join button and join our membership group we give you ton of value free courses free trainings alongside with other goodies and things that you don't want to miss out so make sure that you join the membership and once again please do like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and also tap on that bell icon so every time I post a new video, you'll get notified. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.